Hey everybody, hello and good morning greetings once again. Greetings from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Today is Sunday, October 15th. Right, that was 15th. 2017, the local time is 9.37. We are down to 1,002 miles to Norfolk, Virginia by way of Indianapolis, Dayton, Ohio, Chillicote, Ohio, down to Charleston, down to Beckley, West Virginia, all the way to the Virginias on 64, and I would imagine uh, 66 East. Right now I only have 5 hours and 53 minutes remaining to drive before I need to take a 10 hour break. You know, it's funny, I when they loaded me, I, uh, I felt the truck stop moving and Uh, but the reefer was still running, so that means either they were still loading it and they were, I don't know, maybe they took a break or... But uh, when, they, when, the, when they stopped loading, when the truck stopped moving and the reefer unit shut off for more than five minutes, I knew I was loaded. They close it from the inside. And I figured, you know what? I I don't want to get up at four or five o'clock in the morning and drive. I said, I'm just gonna sleep here until I wake up or they knock on the door. Well, they never did knock on the door, so Woke up on my own, got the paperwork. Voila. By the way, um, this camera is recording at 1080p60. The highest quality that this camera can muster. Millis. Speaking of Millis transfer, I haven't heard from Bob. Uh, since uh, he uh, he took an early retirement let's just put it that way I texted him and called him a few times left messages and he never got back so I take it he doesn't want to be bothered I'm sure he'll call whenever he feels like it Currently traveling on this 894 Milwaukee Bypass. So it's 998 right now, mileage wise. Seven, eight, nine. 
If I drive for 200 miles today, I could make it there by tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon if need be. But since I've got uh, five hours and 49 minutes remaining to drive, I'm hoping I can make it down to, I should be able to make it down to um, Lebanon, five and a half hours. Looks like the weather is clearing up as far as, you know, go further I go south. But I think this rain is headed south too, so it seems like it's going to be following me for a while. By the way, I'm using my heater right now. It's a little chilly out there. Baby Blue says the outside temperature is at 52 degrees. I don't know if that's accurate or not.
was talking to Larry last night. As many of you know, Larry owns a what is it, a 2000 I don't know, 2005, 2008, whatever year he's got Freightliner uh, Columbia. Yeah, Columbia, I think. Anyway, he's an owner operator. He's got his own trailer, truck and trailer. He had his own authority. And without in getting into some complicated details he had to get out of the business not at the fault of his own but uh, let's just say somebody kind of screwed him out of that so he's now working for JB Hunt doing uh, railroad or intermodal and he likes it. He he's very happy with it. The only thing that Larry is he can't stand sitting around, he can't stand dispatchers not doing their job. To make the story short, I think he's gonna go and fire up his truck again. In fact I think Right now, he's building some kind of a makeshift garage so he can completely take down his truck and overhaul it, make it road ready again. And I think he plans to lease it back, uh, lease it to JB Hunt as a power unit only. He'll be doing what he's doing right now, except he'll be an owner-operator. The beauty about that is he can pretty much dispatch himself and, you know, manage him his what time he's going to be there, what time he's going to be available, what kind of load he's going to pick up. It's kind of a self-dispatching system, I think. Welcome to Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Ryan Road, exit 322. There's a, a pilot, a love truck stop, a Freightliner dealer. What else is there? That's also the same exit for Reinhardt. Oh, Peterbelt's right there too. Yeah, Reinhardt is somewhere around here. I used to deliver there all the time. And on the other side of the freeway is uh, Aldi's and there's a McDonald with truck parking. This whole place is a, just a big industrial complex. Lots and lots of business. Oh, look at those trees. Beautiful. You know, I was so tempted to go home today after I got loaded. 
I thought, what would happen if I go home? Do an eight hour break. And then run full eight hours. Do a 10 hour break. Sometime uh, later this afternoon or tonight, tomorrow. But I thought, nah. I want to give myself a little room to expect the unexpected traffic constructions and whatever else. Alright, we got a way station coming up here. Let's see if they're open or not. I'll let you guys go. Today is Sunday, so there's a good possibility that it'd be closed. They're closed. I could already see the big word. I can't necessarily read the word yet, but it's a bigger word than close is a bigger word than the uh, open. <laughs> They're closed. All right, I'll let you guys go. As always, thank you for watching. Please kindly share my videos on your uh, social medias and uh, press like and comment I gratefully appreciate that thank you have a good and godly day everybody peace